matchless G12 for sale on eBay. In the paperwork, the bike comes with its original um, duplicate logbook there. Um, the engine numbers don't match with the frames normally on these. However, I can see that when the bike was two years old, that it's got the same engine and frame number as what it's got in it now. So it probably is the original engine that it came with that's fitted to the bike. Um, the registration document is in the post to me at the moment. It's an old tax disc. There's various information there from like the AGS Owners Club matching up numbers and that kind of thing. There's the owner's manual, owner's and service manual, there's parts catalogues. There's an HPI check certificate which I've just done that shows it all completely clear. There's no accidents or finance there and the bike's history to be concerned about. Um, dating certificates, there's actually service history here going back some years. Um, some of this is quite old. Um, but there's some service history there. Also, some fairly irrelevant kind of paperwork here, things like petrol tank repairs and other notes that um, were made about the bike through its history. There's some old MOT test certificates there. Um, the bike was last used in, well, you have a look at the taxi in a minute, a little while ago now. And there's some old MOT test certificates there. Just looking around the bike, a few little things to point out. Um, the bike has been in storage, it's been cleaned and protected with WD-40 and you can see an oily film all over the bike there. That really wants wiping off to improve the look of the bike. This left hand clutch lever bracket um, moves around. I did have a half-hearted attempt at tightening that up but it didn't seem to want to tighten so you might want to look at that. Same goes for this right hand mirror, that seems that no matter how much you tighten it, it still seems to be loose. Bit of a design fault with the mirror fittings there. I'd probably change those mirrors if it was mine. Or if I was going to keep it, is what I mean to say. Um, this has uh, got an oil leak possibly from this primary chain case there. I've had a bit of a look but I can't really see. Um, a bit like a lot of old English bikes really, they do drip a bit of oil. If you want to look after your floor you could put a tray underneath it or something like that or some cardboard or something. Or take a look at the gasket or something like that. The mud guards on the bike are made from GRP that's why they're not dented or rusty. That's the front and the back. But apart from that the bike is pretty much up here. You can see the video I've done there with me riding the bike. I noticed that the horn when I um, rode it, it only peaked a little bit, so that I probably want adjusting or something on there. Uh, the crown work on the bike is not bad, it's not perfect, but it's kind of good enough, I think, and the paintwork is, is pretty similar with that. So there we go. Good luck with the bidding.